ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, this is James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 14th day of March, getting set to sail into a weekend. The big question, will we have any more storms around here? Let's talk about it. Let's go right to some Skycam shots from the ABC 3340 Skycam Network. There's a look at the sky over Chilton County. The view from uh, downtown Clanton, the sky overcast there. Mount Cheha, they are in the clouds over on the eastern side of the state. Obviously, the ceilings are... Uh, down in the 2,000-foot uh, level, since the elevation up there is 2,400 feet. And from Tuscaloosa, we've still got uh, mostly cloudy conditions there. We're watching to see if we have any thin spots developing in the overcast, but so far the clouds are hanging tough. There's the water vapor satellite imagery, and the lead impulse has really moved on to the east. Uh, we had the batch of storms this morning. Uh, that has stopped, and uh, uh, really it's unfolding pretty much as we lined up here uh, yesterday. Uh, we had the morning storms. We're expecting a break in the rain this afternoon and this evening. Uh, there might be a shower somewhere, but nothing particularly organized. And the next opportunity for storms will be late tonight, really after midnight and early tomorrow morning. Uh, there's the uh, visible satellite imagery, the high-resolution look, and you can see how we are getting some breaks in the cloud cover over northwest and west-central Alabama. And over Mississippi, it's partly cloudy over there. They've got uh, just scattered clouds, and temperatures are rising quickly. But, again, there's no real lift out there. Uh, we're in kind of a, a period where there's no real upward motion in the atmosphere. So we think any showers for the rest of this afternoon and this evening should be very isolated. And that's what we got on radar right now. Got a couple of small showers out there, but not very many. Uh, that's at uh, 151. The timestamp is one hour off. We should mention that. We'll try and get that adjusted this afternoon. But a couple of showers up there over uh, Fayette, Walker, and Cullman counties around Smith Lake, and a few small ones off to the east, but that's about it. Now, here's a look at the instability as of uh, 1 o'clock this afternoon, and we note that the, the surface-based capes are up to 1,000 down in South Alabama and over 1,500 back over Mississippi where the sun is shining. And uh, that unstable air will kind of act back in here tonight. And the question is, can we get any of that energy released in the form of thunderstorms with this second uh, disturbance coming in here. We'll look at that in just a moment. Now, this is the QPF map, the expected rain across the country, valid through Wednesday morning of next week. And uh, that looks pretty wet now. Of course, most of this is coming with our system next week, that whopper of a trough uh, that will be in here uh, in that area uh, Tuesday into Wednesday, heaviest rain over northeastern Texas and Arkansas and western Tennessee. Convective outlook the rest of this afternoon and tonight, a slight risk uh, across much of Alabama, then well back off to the west into uh, Arkansas, parts of Oklahoma and Kansas, and that's for the possibility of a convective blow-up out there moving in here toward the pre-dawn hours tomorrow. And then during the day tomorrow, the slight risk shifts on to the east across uh, Georgia and the uh, Carolinas. And uh, by afternoon, all the action should be east of here. And then in the day four through eight convective outlook, uh, day four is Monday, day five is Tuesday, and uh, there's a real chance we will uh, have severe weather issues Tuesday night or Wednesday morning with a very dynamic system, as you'll see here shortly. This is the 12Z GFS valid at uh, noon tomorrow, noon Saturday. The big trough is out west, but notice the little patch of yellow coming through in that strong southern stream. And the question is, will that energy be able to uh, get us some thunderstorms cranking up? There's the surface chart. The surface low at midday is near Muscle Shoals, and uh, this is suggesting the bulk of the rain will be along and north of the warm front over Tennessee and the far northern part of Alabama, and a capping inversion, uh, in theory, should keep the central and southern part of the state quiet. We'll see. Uh, no doubt the models have been suggesting that for several, several runs now. So certainly it looks like the better chance of storms after midnight and early tomorrow morning will be over the Tennessee Valley and Huntsville and Muscle Shoals, but they might develop southward down in this direction. We'll just watch it and see. But by afternoon, all of that should be gone, and we'll uh, break out into a uh, warm and windy kind of afternoon. Sunday, beautiful day. No issues there. Sunny with a high back in the 60s. Monday, there's that big trough back off to the west. We'll be dry Monday. Tuesday, the trough digs down into western Texas. We'll peek under the hood at the uh, surface on Tuesday, the surface low developing near McAllister, Oklahoma, with a chance of severe storms down into eastern Texas. And then Wednesday, 
The thing uh, pulls out to the northeast of us and uh, rotates through here. And at the surface, the surface low is up there near Detroit with a trailing band of storms moving into Georgia at midday Wednesday. So once again, this is suggesting the better chance of showers and storms will be from about midnight Tuesday night until noon Wednesday. This has been the year of the pre-dawn thunderstorms, hadn't it? Thursday, the whole thing is gone. That'll be dry. Friday will be dry. And again, this is spring break week for a lot of folks. Uh, Saturday, the 22nd of March, pretty good disturbance rotates through here. That brings a chance of showers and maybe some snow. Are you kidding me? For Tennessee and Kentucky and West Virginia, big snows up there maybe. And then in the wake of that thing, Easter Sunday looks pretty cold if this is right, with temperatures perhaps uh, below freezing by Easter Sunday morning. Seems like many years we have that Easter cold snap. Of course, Easter coming pretty early this year. And then uh, five more days, the 28th, look at that booger, big old uh, sharp trough coming through here but you know that thing comes and goes that might disappear on the next run because that is in voodoo country uh, that's it for the weather extreme video this afternoon notes on the blog the next video here by uh, well brian peters will have them tomorrow and sunday my next video by monday morning at seven thanks a lot for watching have a wonderful weekend and god bless 